It's seven o'clock on a dot. I'm on my laptop giving the tea. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, yeah. What's good, y'all? Shout out, shout out, shout out for a new week because technically this is the start of the new week. It's Sabbath. Happy Sunday to all y'all. If y'all haven't followed the social medias that y'all see, please make sure to follow each and every last social media that you guys see. And thank you guys so much for rocking with me the way that y'all do. But girl, we really going to have to have a talk. A huge talk. So it's just another fail petition wrecking the site like crazy. Yes, it's yeah, they should tear it up, be it fast or slow. It doesn't let go the shame. Listen, I don't understand why y'all keep coming out here with all of these petitions to do this and petitions to do that. You know what's crazy? Britney Gardner is in a whole nother country right now. In, in jail for some weed, child. That's more worthy of a petition than what's going on on LAMH. Like, y'all, my, y'all ain't learned from the Wanda petition. I told y'all Wanda petition won't go, go nowhere. I told y'all it won't go, go nowhere. I had everybody thinking that Miss Wanda really got fired and what happened? Not only is Miss Wanda still there, her ass was on the nightcap with my husband. I told y'all when it came to the change doc oil for Eveline that everybody done came out with, that didn't work. They came out one with Tommy Sotomayor, that didn't work. I done told, they did one with the late Kevin Samuels. He was still up there wreaking havoc all over the internet. No shade to him, may he rest in peace. God sorting them out now. I keep telling y'all this. But y'all don't listen to nothing because, again, most of y'all came under my comments and told me that I was wrong. On my last video, when I didn't even say nothing out the way towards melodrama, the only thing I said was both of them need to stay off of social media. That was all I said. Majority, the whole video geared toward Leisure Suit. But you melodrama hoes that like the trauma bond with her love to cherry pick what a person says and what a person doesn't. And the one thing that y'all don't agree with something or the one time y'all don't agree with something, y'all morph into these mighty morphin trauma bonded melodrama hoes that I just can't get with. So I don't need no melodrama hoes up here listening to this. I need folk that live in real damn life to come up here and listen to this. I don't want nobody that's, that's, that's too heavily invested in a TV show where quiet as it's kept, both of them can have both of us food. Both of them probably really are um, doing real good as co-parenting, but they see that this brings drama. They see that this brings controversy. They know that this is going to make people be what y'all being now. What Khalees call, uh, called y'all sheep. I ain't going to say she was all the way wrong. All right. Because this is the type of stuff that she talk about. But all we know, all of us could be some damn dummies thinking that this shit is real. And it could all just be for a plot in a storyline in a damn bag. Be clear. Because I ain't even got to why we here yet. But y'all really pissed me off under my comments last night. Coming up under my comments telling me that I'm wrong and I'm this and I'm that. And I don't know what goes on. Oh, and y'all do? Y'all do? Melodrama says so it's true, right? Anyway, so somebody came under the comments before y'all pissed me off again. Somebody came up under the comments. I guess this is how the change.org started, I assume. I don't know. And then somebody healing within says, I feel like he only feels that way towards melodrama brother because he gay. Brown Sugar Babes replies and says, bingo. Pink Panther says he knows exactly what he's doing when he says that. Mark, uh, Markia Love, I believe it says, says he said Marcus's husband. I guess she's trying to say, well, she didn't say him. She said his husband. But sis, if you looked at the season before last, I believe it was third season when that whole situation happened. He said that about Marcus, too. It won't about his husband. He said that about Marcus, too. I hear you, but no, he said that about Marcus, too. And so then uh, Leisure Suit comes under all of that, and he says, that's not the case, but if I did, those his MF kids. That's what he said. 
And he right. They are. So I don't even know why y'all give a shit. So then that's when this BS done came out because that's what it is. Uh, from change, it says cancel leisure suit from loving hip hop, loving hip hop. It may as well be, it may as well be. We may as well make this loving hip hop Huntsville because that's what y'all done turned this into. Uh, so I'm gonna just change the name, Carlos. Don't get mad, but it is what it is. Loving hip hop Huntsville, and um, it needs at least 200 signatures, girl. I don't know how many it got, it don't matter because it ain't gonna go nowhere, but anyway, what it says is. Leisure, leisure Martel Halt suit has become dangerous and unhinged. Oh my, listen. <laughs> Y'all going with these Caucasian trigger word and buzzwords. Dangerous and unhinged. I, I, uh, but okay, fine. Fine. Because everything I say is wrong, right? So fine. Leisure, leisure Martel Hawk suit has become dangerous and unhinged. He cheated on his beautiful, I guess, wife of 12 years with um, the salty saw queen, um, the split in queen, the harlot that y'all love to call Coleslaw, who bore him an outside son in the marriage. Then he sues the ex-wife for needing daycare since she has to work. He stole seventeen thousand out of their joint bank, <laughs> out of their joint bank account before the divorce was final. He refused to let his ex-wife get her things out of the marital home, <laughs> 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 which resulted in the kids having to sleep on air mattresses. I have never heard that, but I guess because like, because again, everything I say is wrong. Y'all know all. So I've never heard this, but okay, fine. I guess it happened. He allegedly abuses his son, call, causing melodrama to have to report him to keep her kids safe from him for 56 days. He needed to be physically restrained by Marceau on the Vegas trip because he was getting too aggressive with his ex-wife. I mean, what I saw was both of them in each other's face yelling and screaming. And what I saw was, Mar was Marceau grabbing up leisure suit because they didn't want all of the yelling and drama and commotion on the couple's trip. That's what I saw because that was everybody's complaint. They couldn't have a good time with, with everybody because the minute they saw each other, it was a yelling and screaming match. I remember that being my whole argument in that damn season, that we got tired of it always being a yelling and screaming match of arguing uh, uh, amongst the Hawks. It ain't had nothing to do. Never mind, because like I say, everything I say is wrong, right? So we just going to continue. Um. He disrespects women and any and any woman that comes close to him has to be ashamed. Now he's taking his ex-wife to court for full custody because she let her gay brother babysit their four children. We are canceling Martel Holt for the homophobia and abuse. We are asking for the cancellation. We're asking for the cancellation of Leisure Suit Martel Holt, of Leisure Martel Holt suit, I mean. Including boycotting his products and Sutter Home wine. If that doesn't work, we will boycott Love and Marriage Huntsville until Carlos King admits his exposure on the show. This abuse and homophobic views cannot go unnoticed any longer. <sighs> mm, 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 mm. Look, y'all, I don't care. All right, I don't care because everything I say is wrong. So I I I don't care. 
Um, that's what's going on. And um, yeah, if y'all want to sign the dumbass petition that ain't going no damn well, ain't gonna do nothing. Um, it's mighty funny to see because I remember a time when they put one out on Miss Wanda. And I said, why y'all petitioning? It ain't going to work. Y'all was the ones who said, well, no, she need to go. Because how is she going to disrespect them on their show? They was the ones who came up here and bought this show. They was the ones who pitched this show to Martell. They was the ones who did this. They bought everybody around. They bought the Scots there. So how dare the Scots try to go after them because it's their show. And they bought the show. That's what y'all told me. That's what y'all told me, right? So with that having been the case, if it's their show and they bought everybody on the show, y'all really think this petition is going to keep Martell up off? Y'all, that's it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more. Like I say, everything I say is wrong. So it is what it is. Believe what y'all want to believe. Put down what y'all want to put down. At this point, I look, I don't give what I, I said it before. And I'm going to say it again. I don't give a New York City rest ass. Who on the show? Who off the show? Because I'm over the show. And y'all better hope I decide to review the show come next month. Because I just, I, I, it, at, at this point, it's just becoming way too damn much for our own show. Not, not, not our own show. Like if this, this was VH1 and it was all this uproar and stuff, I kind of understand it. But all of this uproar over stuff that we don't even know is really going on is just ridiculous to me. Y'all constantly tell me, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the real is. I don't know this. I don't know that. But can that not be said for everybody that's involved? None of us know what goes on around there. None of us know the real truth. Like I said, they all could be sitting around with their feet up, laughing their ass off at us, y'all rather, sitting up here kicking up all of this dust when it could really not even be going on for real, for real. Let's not act like people don't do shit like that for clout because they do. Clout is one hell of a drug. Fame is one hell of a drug. Being noticed is one hell of a drug. All of these allegations of abuse and yada, yada, yada. But when they was going up against the Scots, none of this shit came out. They had this united front and then we thought everything was good. They taking trips together, all of the rest of this stuff. But whatever, like I say, everything I say is wrong. I got it all wrong. And I ain't got time for you mighty morphin melodrama, trauma bonding crew trying to come up under the comments with all of y'all stupid ass comments and all of y'all retarded ass shit that y'all want to sit up here and, and, and love to argue semantics and love to argue this and love to argue that, argue with your damn selves. I'm over this show and I'm gone. Bye.